Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a full day of eating. I'm gonna show you budget-friendly, healthy, and easy foods. This is what I usually eat in a normal day, so I'm gonna take you along and show you how I make everything, what the nutrition information is, and how much everything costs. So I'm actually pretty hungry right now, so let's get right into meal one. I like to start off my day with a bowl of oatmeal, and this Better Oats brand is my favorite brand, and right now I have the cinnamon roll flavor, which I've really been loving. What I love about this brand is they put flaxseed in their oatmeal and that just adds a little bit extra fiber and protein to help keep you full a little bit longer. And it's also nice that the pouch can measure the water. So if you're on the go, it's super easy. You don't have to worry about measuring out your water to make your oatmeal at work or at school or wherever you are. So now I'm just gonna answer some emails and get some work done. And then John and I are gonna head out and run some errands, go grocery shopping, and we'll be back for lunch. We've been running errands for like the past three hours, I would say, and it is so crazy out there because Christmas is two days away. There's traffic everywhere. The grocery store was crazy. Everything has lines. I'm so glad to be home now and I'm starving. So we went grocery shopping as well because I go grocery shopping on the weekends around my clinical schedule or my work schedule. So today is Saturday. I went grocery shopping today. Sometimes I go on Sunday. It really just depends. But I'm gonna put these groceries away and then we're gonna have lunch, which is gonna be really good. So I'll show you what that is in just a second. Since today's video is about eating healthy on a budget, I figure I would show you guys my grocery haul because everything is pretty budget friendly and everything is pretty healthy. The first thing that I always get is pretzels and hummus because it's an easy quick snack whenever you're in a rush and I get whatever brand hummus is on sale. This is the one that was today. I also get these country style hash browns because they're super macro friendly and cheap, easy to make for a dinner side. I like this bread for toast and sandwiches because it's only 35 calories a slice and it ends up being about five grams of protein per serving and it has pretty high fiber too, so that's good. I put hot sauce on everything and I ran out the other day, so here's my new hot sauce. I always keep beans on hand. I'm using these actually for both my recipes today, so you guys will see what I do with those in a minute. Always have a bunch of bananas because I eat those for snacks and smoothies and things like that. For produce, otherwise, I usually just get what's on sale. Today, blackberries were on sale for 99 cents and John already ate half of them, so. That's what's left. The rest of the stuff is just for recipes. And then here I have almond milk and peanut butter. I just get whatever's the cheapest, like I said again. That's the theme here. I buy this Morning Star chicken strips because they're super high protein and I put them in salads and use them for dinner dishes and things like that. And same with the tofu. So these two things I eat every single day, one Lara bar, one protein bar. They're super easy for clinical or when you're working in the hospital, you can just keep them in your pocket. So I love those. I put salsa on a lot of stuff too. And these are for the dinner I'm making tonight. Lastly, we have this is not normal stuff that I buy, but I wanted to try a ramen recipe tomorrow. So I've never made this before. I'm not gonna put it in this video because I don't know if it's good, but if it comes out good, I'll put it in a future video. All right, I'm starving and it's lunchtime, so let's go see what's for lunch. For lunch, I am making chickpea sandwiches with a side of sweet potato fries, and this is one of my favorite meals. It's super good. I obviously need a new knife. Please don't be scared, I won't cut my hand off. I really need new knives. <laughs> All right. So I got through the sweet potato. So I just basically slice them up into fries and I'm having one sweet potato, John's having one. So if I was just making this for me, I would only made one. So I'm just gonna split these in half and then I usually spray a little of that olive oil spray on top and then I put a bunch of spices on them because I love spices and it makes the flavor so much better. So I use chili powder, paprika, salt and pepper. While I'm doing this, the oven was preheating at 425 and then I'm gonna put them in the oven and cook them for about 20 minutes and then if they're not done, I'll just add a little time. While the sweet potatoes are cooking, I'm gonna make the chickpea salad. Make sure you rinse your chickpeas first. This is actually two cans and a half a can is a serving of this. So then I'm gonna put four tablespoons of mayonnaise in there, two tablespoons per a can, some mustard, salt, and pepper, and then I'm gonna blend it up in the food processor. If you do not have a food processor, don't worry, you can just use a regular blender. And I use Just Mayo, it's the eggless mayonnaise brand. So when it's done, it'll look like this, and I put the rest in the fridge. John's gonna eat one whole can, I'm gonna eat half a can, so some tomatoes and spinach to top off the sandwiches with, and then I toast my bread because I like it toasted. But if I'm taking this to lunch at work or something, I don't really toast it, I just put it in a container. And of course, some hot sauce to top it off. And this is what it looks like, it's so good, you guys, you have to try it. So now the sweet potato fries are done, and I probably shouldn't have put the camera in the oven, but I'm gonna put sweet potato fries on the plates. There's a little bit of ketchup on the plate as well, I didn't show that part, but you can dip them in whatever you want, and now lunch is ready. You ready to try it? Oh, this is live? Yeah. Oh. You've had it before. I usually eat this. John doesn't really eat this that much, so let's do a taste test. Honest opinion needed. Good? 
We are done with lunch now. We hung out, watched TV for a little while, and now I feel like I want a snack, so I'm gonna have my protein bar. I'm gonna show that to you guys, but I love heating up my protein bars because it melts the chocolate, and it's really good, much better than whenever you just eat it normal. So when I'm at home, I heat them up, and I'm gonna show you what kind of protein bar I eat. If you wanna heat up your protein bar, heat up for 15 or 10 second increments because if you overheat it, it burns, and they overheat super quick, but let me show you why I heat this thing up because it tastes so much better. Kind of like a candy bar, like 50% candy bar. Okay, it is now dinner time, my favorite time, so I'm making one of my favorite things for dinner and that is gonna be tacos. I'm gonna make like a mock sofritas taco from Chipotle. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. But first I wanted to tell you that I do drink water throughout the day. I haven't really been showing it because I was thinking what I eat in a day, not what I drink in a day, but I probably should have showed this. So this is a 24 ounce cup of water and I drink about three or four of these a day. I drink one right when I wake up and if I'm leaving, I obviously just drink out of water bottles. So I just wanted to let you know I do stay hydrated, don't worry. I'm drinking another one right now while I make dinner. Speaking of dinner, let's get to it. I love making tacos. They're one of my favorite foods because you can customize them however you want and make them as healthy as you want or as not healthy as you want. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is press your tofu. I'm using two boxes of tofu here. I really need a tofu press, as you can see. I'm using microfiber towels and a cutting board and just push pressing it for like a minute until it's flat and the water's all out because if you don't get all the water out, it gets kind of soggy. But I'm using two boxes of tofu because I'm doubling the recipe so we'll have leftovers for tomorrow, but I'm really only eating half a block in my tacos. So you're gonna wanna crumble up all your tofu. Just do this with your hands and put it into the pan. And these are all the spices that we're gonna use. I don't really measure all the spices, but I will put measurements in the comments below. I probably use a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of everything, except the black pepper. Don't be scared to go a little heavy on the spices because that's really what makes these taste so good. And the soy sauce really takes away from the tofu flavor, like the soy flavor of the tofu. I don't know why, because that seems kind of weird, but it really makes a huge difference. So don't omit the soy sauce and you can use low sodium if you want. While that's cooking, I'm gonna do the garnishes, which is onion, cilantro, and lime. I'm only making enough onion and lime for me because John won't eat the onion or lime. Make sure you wash your cilantro because the other day I didn't wash it and it tasted like dirt. I think there was dirt on it from where they picked it. So now we're all done. Here's the finished product, a little bit of refried beans and salsa on the side, and they are so delicious. Make these, you will not regret it. We're done with dinner, but I'm still kind of hungry and I have a sweet tooth whenever I finish dinner. So I'm gonna have this chocolate chip cookie dough lar bar here and I'm gonna heat it up because I like when the chocolate's melted, just like I heat up my protein bar. All right, that wraps up a full day of eating. That lar bar was the last thing I'm gonna eat today because I'm actually pretty full now and I've hit my macros just about. So I usually have a protein shake on days that I train and I didn't train today so I didn't have a protein shake. I just wanted to say that because that's one thing that's a little different on this full day of eating. I'm gonna flip to my fitness pal to show you guys my macros and what macros I ate today because I think it'll be easier if you can just see it and then I'll be back. This is my MyFitnessPal account, and as you can see, I put in all the food here. I don't put in things like cilantro and spinach leaves because they're just irrelevant, not enough calories to really matter. But if you go to nutrition, there it shows me all my macros for the day and my macro goals. As you can see, I went a little bit under on protein. I try to aim for 90 to 100 a day, but that's fine. Exactly on with fat, and then my carbs, I went a little over, but that's fine as well. I'm not super strict with it. And then if you go here, you can even see the breakdown of the percentages. Oh, I forgot to show you fiber. Fiber is important too. I always go way over on fiber because I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, but you want to pay attention to that too. And then here's all your micronutrients. I'm not going to get into that, but I just wanted to give you a little snapshot here. That's about 1800 calories for the day. When I train, I eat more than that and that's it. Now that we're done going over everything in my fitness pal, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Our grand total for the day was 572. So that's actually about 35 or $40 a week if you eat like that every day. So really cheap and really healthy and I'm full and I feel satisfied. So I think it was a good day of eating. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you try any of the recipes, please let me know and let me know if you liked them. I'm gonna leave all the recipes in the description below with the ingredients and stuff like that in case you wanna make a grocery list. I hope I gave you some good ideas. And if you guys have any recipes that you think I should try, please leave those in the comments below because I love trying new food. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon.